coming up in this mini-series, how to use Notion if you're a real estate wholesaler. Notion is a phenomenal tool with loads of cool features, but it can be overwhelming when you first start out. When I first started using it five years ago, I made loads of mistakes and I ended up scrapping my workspace over and over and over again. I don't want you to waste loads of time like I did. So over this series, I'm gonna share with you a series of five short lessons that I recommend that you follow if you're just getting started out in Notion. Lesson number one is playing with blocks. In Notion, you can put different types of information into one of your pages using things called blocks. So let me show you some simple examples. I'm currently here on a new page. And firstly, let's give our page a name. So this is just gonna be um, Real Estate Wholesale. And the first type of block is just text. So you can do this straight away. So we can just type in some text. We can also add other things in and that all comes from the forward slash key. So this is your gateway to loads of different functions. So if I press the forward slash key, you can see that we've then got all these different types of basic blocks here and there's some explanations. So we're just putting some text, page I'm gonna cover in lesson two, so we'll leave that for the second. Um, let's start off with, let's just put in a heading. So here, let's just go and imagine we're gonna go and make um, a list um, of all of our investors for our wholesale business. So let's just put here, investor list. Great. And then underneath we want to go and list out all of our investors. So the second block that I'm going to show you is called a toggle. So if I just press the greater than symbol on my keyboard and then space, you can see we've now got a toggle. You can also do that if I press forward slash and then type tog. It also brings you to toggle. Or you could just press forward slash and then just go and scroll down. And then here we can see we've got our toggle list. And then press return. So let's say that we're going to have our new investor and this is going to be Joe Blogs. And underneath this toggle, we can then go and add various pieces of information. Now with this uh, toggle here, we can also create different size toggles. So if I now go and press on my keyboard, the uh, hash key, if I press a couple of times and then space, that then turns it into a heading two toggle. So it's slightly bigger, but it's still a toggle. If you want to do this a different way, if we press forward slash, then go toggle. And then underneath you can see we've got these advanced blocks and we've got different toggle sizes. So this one is a toggle two, uh, heading two, but let's go and just show you as an example, uh, heading, heading three, and that's slightly smaller. So I'm just gonna delete that one. So underneath Joe blogs, we then want to go and add some information. So the first thing is let's go and add uh, Joe's requirements. So if you press, press dash on your keyboard and then space, that then starts to create a bulleted list. So let me do and put here, he's looking for three to five bed houses. His budget is 250,000 uh, pounds. He's looking in London and uh, he wants to be able to purchase uh, within the next three months. So those are all of our requirements. So if I press return again, it creates another bullet, but then I can just press the back key on my keyboard and it goes and deletes it and then we can add something else. Great, so those are our requirements. Then let's go and create a checklist. So if I just press forward slash and then check, we've got our to-do list and then return, you can see we've got a little checkbox. So this could be, for example, our uh, investor onboarding. So let's say that we want to go and check proof of funds. So that's the first thing that we want to do. Uh, let's say we also want to go and get him to sign some paperwork. So if I press return, it adds another checkbox. So sign paperwork, etc. If you also want to go and create a checkbox using your keyboard, you can press the two square brackets. So if I press the left square bracket and the right square bracket and then space, that also does the same thing and creates another checkbox. So finally, this could be do first deal. So all we need to do to use these is just go and click on the various checkbox and you can see that we then go and cross them off to say that they are completed. Another simple block that we can use is underneath here. If we just go and press the hyphen key three times, so one, two, three, it then creates this dividing line and then I can just go and drag that. So let's say we want to go and put that underneath our investor list. We've now got put a little divider um, just to go and make it look a little better. And then uh, within our toggle, we can then go and close and open this as we need to, just to save a little bit of space. So try playing around with the basic blocks using the forward slash key in your workspace. Go and see how they work, all the different options and what they look like. And then when you're ready, then go and click here for lesson two, which is all about creating structure.